Hey everyone, it's Diabetic Danica. So, medical tape. Medical tape, medical tape, medical tape. I really never dealt with medical tape until I got a continuous glucose monitor. And, I don't know, just like with an infusion set for a pump, you could tape it, I guess, but most of the time it's only in two to three days, and so it doesn't really have a chance to work its way off, at least for me. So, I really started trying to look into medical tapes when I got my continuous glucose monitor, my Dexcom. Because the Dexcom is approved to last for seven days, but I personally leave it on for 14 days, two weeks instead of one, um, because it still works for me at that point, but Dexcom doesn't recommend that. But that's what I do, and so by the end of that time, it's really starting to come off. And I feel like it's been coming off a lot easier lately, and so I don't know if Dexcom like changed their adhesive or something because they knew people were wearing it for a long time. I've heard people wear it for like 40 days or something crazy like that. So I don't know if they like made it less sticky or something, but I feel like it doesn't last as long as it used to. It used to be that like once I got towards 14 days it was hard to come off, but now it starts to come off around 7 days. And no matter how many medical tapes I try, I can never find a good one. Like right now I'm using this one and it's kind of like a cloth type of material because there's so many different types of medical tape it turns out. This one's like a cloth material and I like it because it's comfortable and it works pretty well but the problem is it's not waterproof at all so as soon as I shower I have to switch out all the medical tape I just put on and it's really annoying. Like look at this situation right here. This is not okay. Like no that's never gonna last. Stressful, stressful. It's been on more than a week, but still, come on. I've also used, it's kind of like a peachy tan color and it's like foamy. That kind's really comfortable and I love it, but it also comes off very easily. So if it's not super comfortable, then it's kind of bulky and scratchy and hard, but it lasts longer. And so it's like this weird balance. Like there's paper tape, I actually hate paper tape. Paper medical tape, like, it's super uncomfortable and it doesn't last. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, none of my medical tape lasts. So just don't go with paper medical tape because it doesn't last and it's scratchy. Um, at least the cloth ones are comfortable even though they don't last either. And the thing about medical tape is like when it starts to come up, my shirt always catches on it. Like when I move, my shirt will catch on the edges of it and I feel like it's gonna pull it out and I'm just, ugh, it's so annoying. I've also tried reinforcing my Dexcom with band-aids and that doesn't work very well either because it has that little, you know, gauzy part in the middle so it doesn't even stick down all the way. So the edges where there are band-aid sticks good but the middle part is just flapping in the wind and it's not helpful at all. Another thing I've been trying is something I used to do actually for insulin pump sets, like back when I played basketball and stuff um, in school. I used to use these, I don't even know, I'll open it. It looks like this. I used to call it snake skin because the one I had, this one is the cheap version that I just bought at Walgreens, but I used to have one that had like this consistency of snake skin, it looked like snake skin. Um, and I used to put that under my infusion sets, but I recently thought, hey, I'll try that for Dexcom. Um, I put it, I didn't buy the real kind. The real kind I used to use was called IV3000, but I was a poor college student and I was like, I'm gonna buy the knockoff brand. And I put it under my Dexcom and it actually made my Dexcom come up quicker because it didn't stick very well to me and so it just lifted the entire Dexcom off of me. So then I switched and I put it over my Dexcom and I cut like a hole out in the middle to kind of go around the sensor and then just stick um, the adhesive stuff to my skin. And it worked okay, but I feel like it still came up in about the same amount of time because I'm buying these little ones. And part of me wants to buy the bigger ones that are like huge so that it'll stick around all the adhesive because this is just, I feel like, a little too small. But they're so expensive. I could get eight of these for like, I think it was like seven bucks or I could get four of the big ones for like $16. And I was like, that math does not add up. So what I've started kind of doing is I let my Dexcom sit on me for until it starts to come off. So like maybe like seven days and then I put one of these on instead of right away so that then this has a chance to sit there and maybe take a little bit longer to wear off. But yeah, I don't really prefer these though because they're very expensive and they haven't been working the best for me. I've also heard of people using tough pads, which are like really thick. I don't even know what they're made out of, but I've never tried those. So I wanna know if those work well for keeping it down too. 
So if you use the Dexcom, please let me know what kind of either medical tape or adhesive you use to keep it down because let's be real, sensors are very expensive and if I can get it to last for two weeks and still be accurate and not cause any problems, then that's what I do. So yeah, please let me know in the comments your favorite, favorite brand. I want it to be comfortable and long lasting. Like those are my two things that I have just not found in a medical tape or any adhesive. So please help a sister out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you could relate to it in any way, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a Facebook page, Diabetic Danica. I have a Twitter and an Instagram, D Maria's Me. The Twitter and Instagram aren't really diabetes focused, but they do belong to me, so if you want to see some things from my life, you can do that. And I also have a Snapchat, D Maria's Me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I also have a couple of shout outs today because I haven't done shout outs in a bit and people ask for them. So I have a shout out today for Ariana Montejo, if that's how you say it, and pump underscore it underscore G on Instagram. Hi guys. Also, I'm in a hotel right now. And so if you hear like banging, there is something going on upstairs, like kids running around, jumping up and down, an elephant herd going through the hallway. I don't know, but it's loud. So if you hear that, whoops, hotel life.